Hola, bem-vindo. That means hello and welcome in Portuguese. Why am I speaking Portuguese? Because I want to present you the rare clone Melmar Laser 2C Apple 2C clone. So let's see what this is all about. Let's start. Back in the 80s, Brazil was a very closed, well, it still is a little bit closed economy, but in the 80s we were really closed as all Latin America was. But they were very advanced in computers, so one of the things that they had is that they didn't have any copyrights uh, or copyright protection internationally. So what happened is that because they could not import a lot of technology, they had to create their own technology within and they begin to clone a lot of uh, the normal computers, you know, the computers in that time, uh, like the Apple II and the Macintosh, uh, amongst others. And uh, their answer for the Apple II was actually this one. This is the Milmar. Milmar is a company that makes them. It's a laser 2C and it's a blatant copy of the Apple to see so much that you can tell that they just took an original Apple to see and made uh, the, the, the same plastic parts and they just made holes for the expansion and joystick and all that. So as you can see, they have an expansion port, video port, cassette port, joystick, TV and uh, power supply. Why? Because this machine is not really an Apple IIc. This machine is an Apple II Plus within an Apple IIc case. Even the keyboard is an Apple II Plus keyboard instead of an Apple IIc. So this is a funny machine. As you can see, they left even the, the hole from the Apple IIc and the four holes for the, the floppy drive although it does not have a floppy drive. So they have ports for external floppy drives. So this is a, a weird machine. And uh, the power supply, it's a full size power supply like the Apple II. And uh, also they have an expansion port, the one that you see over there. And they even use uh, Apple uh, text for that. This was, uh, I acquired this machine a few years ago. It was really uh, a big um, enterprise to get it. And let me bring an Apple IIc so you can, you can compare it while I tell the story about this specific. Here's an Apple IIc and I'm gonna put it next to it for comparison. As you can see, they're pretty similar. Keyboard, of course, is completely different. This is the kind of keyboard that comes with the Apple IIs, while this is more modern, you know, different keyboard that the Apple IIs, Apple IIc came with, with a bunch of keys underneath. They, here, they only have the space bar. They don't even have the, the um, uh, arrow keys and all that. You know, caps lock is the only thing that they have. So again, it's, it's just an Apple II Plus in an Apple IIc case. This, of course, it's a lot sturdier. You can see the plastic is a lot better and it's heavier, a lot heavier than this. Why? Because this has a power supply and a floppy drive inside while this doesn't have anything. It just have a motherboard inside. So uh, the story of this one, I, I, um, I heard about it and I have a bunch of friends in, in Brazil and they they were looking for one of these for a while and then they found it in a, they they have like an ebay over there and uh, they bought it for me and a few months later somebody was traveling to the us and brought it uh, over here with them because it's it's very difficult it's not difficult it's expensive and uh you know a little bit complicated to export things and, and all that so anyway 
Uh, then a few years later, I contacted uh, somebody from the Apple II group. I don't remember if it was the Apple II, Apple II Brazilian group, and they were selling the expansion box. And the expansion box is this. This is a really weird thing. So because this is an Apple II Plus, you can actually use expansion cards like in the Apple II Plus. So um, this thing connects to the back, gets power from the power supply. The power supply has an extra power connector for exactly this. So you will connect it to the power supply, contact it over here, and then this will be connected to the back. So this will be like this in the back and you can put cards over here. It has a switch. I don't remember what, what is this for, but um, I have my instructions over here. Um, so anyway, we'll, we'll put it all together and we'll turn it on to see how it works. Okay, here we are. I connected my small monitor, my um, night owl monitor. Um, I had a, to connect also to a PAL to a NTSC adapter, because I think this is only PAL, the signal. And let's turn it on, let's see what it does. And there it is, laser 2C. Can you see that? Um, let me see. I hope you can see it better now. It says laser 2C. And um, I may be able to do a control reset. And there's my reset. And of course it's uh, in, in Portuguese. But I can do my normal PR6. Of course, there's nothing connected right now. So in the meantime, I connected this um, W drive. Let's see if with the W drive in port one of the drives, uh, it will work. I think it will. And uh, it's reading something. Uh, let's see. Huh. Yeah, it should. Um, oh, maybe not. Okay. So it's trying to load um, a drive, but it cannot do it because it's most likely it doesn't have enough memory. It's a uh, two plus, remember? So I need to change, let's reset this. And I'm not even gonna even try to do total recall. Let's try to do some basic disk. Hmm. Oh, there's something going on. Oh, there's an error. Let's see if this was Orion. Let's try to do Karatika. Let's see if it works. Oh. It's not working. There you go, Karatika. I'm not sure it's gonna be in color because this is a PAL. Yep, it's black and white. It's PAL signal. If you wanna see it closer.
See if I can run something else. Maybe hardhead Mac. Let's see if it works. Yep. There you go. Maybe I need to get one of those pal adapters that I have for the Apple to see. But this will work in black and white right now. Remember, this is an Apple to see plus. There you go. Open it in a minute and we can see the interior uh, as you can see when you get the caps lock it has a light in the back i don't know if you can see the little light over there to show that the caps lock is on and off it's a weird one but you know it is what it is um and again this is not a um, great machine but it is a very rare computer it's difficult to to get one uh there they sell them only in brazil they're expensive down there and they're also rare over there um another thing that it's it's not really you know the plastics are not great uh, but it's a feat because it was done in a time that there was no support from apple uh, they had to to do their own you know cloning and uh, they did it so well that you know even the, the apple logo is cloned you know and the, and the lettering other than that, the, the, you know, the interior is just a normal uh, motherboard. Um, uh, and it's just uh, a curiosity more than anything. You know, I, I, we, we, I took it to Kansas Fest a few years ago and we tested it. We tested even the, the expansion port and it works. Uh, but really, it's not too much that you can do with it that, uh, other than, you know, whatever you can do with an Apple II+. Plus. There's no expansion other than that, no memory expansion. Um, the power supply again is a, a specific um, connector. So, you know, it's just a rarity. It's, uh, it's a beautiful little machine and uh, I love it. It's just, you know, a different one. Let's open it up. I always try to be very delicate with this these machines because they are you know different and there's no way to get replacement so I gotta be very careful well it just all out so. Here you go. Let's open it up. I don't even remember how to open it. It was so long ago. And if it's like the 2C, it should have something in here. So I gotta be very careful. Hmm. Yeah, it has it there. But still, oh, sorry, I forgot about this one. And of course, I guess another kind of screwdriver, thinner. So why does it have a screw here? I don't know. Missing one, so there you go. Down there. Bring it up, carefully. See, even the keyboard is sliding now. Careful, careful, and it's out. Oh, you see, speaker is connected to the top. Q 
keyboard it's like this and there you go that's your motherboard fortunately the ROMs have been already been copied and as you can see it's a very simple motherboard I think this is the memory and uh, you know bunch of chips um, I like it that has a joystick port and of course cassette has a cassette port so this is the only 2c that works with cassette so there you go this is the famous and very rare Milmar laser 2c love it because of that love it because of the clone look and feel and of course um, you know I uh, I'm gonna keep it forever of course I, I love it anyway hope you like this episode um, please don't, don't forget to share subscribe like and tell your friends thank you very much and see you next time This, this little thing is very, oh God, I just lost one.